Hello everyone and back to my cooking classes or whatever you want to call it. Um, today I want to make a uh, tuna tata which was a bit hard to get. The tuna seems to be a rarity at the moment but luckily I had something still frozen um, which you have to do anyway before you want to eat it raw and so I'm going to do that with some uh, coriander and some avocado garnish and the rest you will see when we meet in the kitchen. See you there guys! So I've got my tuna, which is now defrosted and washed and patted dry. Now, how you're gonna cut this is extremely important because you need to cut against the grain. And I put a bit of plastic film because I don't want to contaminate the wooden board with the raw food. Now you cut it into sort of chunks like that, which in the end you want to have end up basically in identical sizes. So we do another matchstick and another one and then we're going to turn around and basically have our bite-sized pieces we've got our soy sauce which is sweet soy sauce i've got my wasabi and mayonnaise which i'm going to mix up to make a wasabi mayonnaise ginger half a squeeze of mandarin juice because i think the sweetness is nicer than just lemon or lime We've got coriander, which I had frozen, hence the crushed look and dead look. <laughs> now, this is not essential. It's a Japanese citrus powder and it just adds a bit of zest. So you can just add a little bit of lemon zest or the zest of the mandarin if you wanted to. Some sesame oil. And for the garnish is a few trout eggs. We can have salmon or caviar if you want to. We've got some uh, chives. We've got some roasted black and white sesame and some avocado and some balsamic vinegar, but the extra sweet stuff. Now, if you don't have a, a thing to make a tower, basically that's how you create those lovely looking pyramids of tartar. You can just use a cup and just turn it upside down. Okay, so we have our lovely chopped up tuna. And we're gonna just go and chuck everything in there. Sweet soy sauce, then the ginger, and the coriander, our mandarin juice. A little pinch of that Japanese citrusy flavoring, a little bit of olive oil, probably about a tablespoon at the most too, depending how rich you like it, because we also still have our sesame oil. Now we're going to mix up our wasabi cream and finish that. Our sand out avocado. I'm going to place normally easily one of those things on top, fill it with the tuna, and then add all the other ingredients. And I'm about to show you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 